Animation is the state of being alive. In mobile application development too, this has got its own significance. In this lecture, I will cover frame by frame animation in Android. In frame by frame animation, I will be changing frames repeatedly so that it appears continuous to the human eye and we feel that it is animated. A frame is referred to an image. So to implement this type of animation, one needs to have a set of images which describe a motion. In this lecture, I will give you a high level overview of drawing and animating 2D graphics in Android using Canvas. Let's begin. The Android framework provides a set of two dimensional drawing APIs that allow you to render your own custom graphics onto a canvas. You can draw 2D graphics in many ways. One way is to draw your graphics on a canvas object. To use this option, you pass your canvas to the appropriate classes on draw method. You can also use the various drawing methods in canvas. This option also puts you in control of any animation. Drawing to a canvas is better when your app needs to regularly redraw itself. Apps such as video games should draw to the canvas on their own. However, there is more than one way to do this. In your app's main thread, where you create a custom view class called invalidate and then handle the on draw callback. In a worker thread that manages a surface view, use drawing methods of the canvas. You don't need to call invalidate. In this course, we will create a class by extending it from the view class and will define the onDraw method in it. The onDraw method is where we will define whatever we want to draw on our canvas. The Android framework only calls onDraw when necessary. For example, whenever our application wants to draw itself, this method will be called. When it is time to redraw our app, we must invalidate the view by calling invalidate method. Android then calls our views onDraw method for us. When we implement this method, we are given a canvas object on which we can draw our view. Inside onDraw, we will use the various drawing methods provided by the canvas class. For example, drawing text, lines, shapes, bitmaps, etc. For frame by frame animation, we will create a bitmap array for the object that is being animated and draw each frame at a time on canvas. In the onDraw method, we will control the object's movement and change the frames. We need a handler object called postDelete method on handler, which schedules a runnable to be executed after some delay. So we need to instantiate a runnable object and implement the run method in it. Inside run, we simply call invalidate. Android then calls onDraw method for us and the view is redrawn. In this way, an infinite game loop is created and the frame by frame animation keeps on running until we close the app. So to recap, I have discussed the technique by which you can draw on a canvas and control a frame by frame animation. In the upcoming lecture, I will create a flying plane animation from scratch in Android Studio. To begin with, I will show you how to create a custom view class and change the canvas background to an image. See you in the next lecture.